Welcome back to another NBA video. And in this video, we have two interesting storylines to cover. The first one will be Donovan Mitchell and how some people have concerns about his future in Utah past the next couple of years. And then later, we're gonna be talking about the Golden State Warriors and a possible big trade that could be going down this summer. So starting things off with the Utah Jazz, Dwayne Wade, new part owner of the Jazz as of last off season, is reportedly concerned about Donovan Mitchell's desire to stay in Utah for the future. This was reported by Brian Windhorse of ESPN, credible reporter. Starting next season, Mitchell will be on a five-year, $195 million deal, so anything in the next few years won't be a problem, but the concern is likely for the summer of 2023 when he is about half halfway through the contract, two years in, and when he can show he wants to be traded, and if he doesn't seem interested in resigning, that might be a concern to Utah Jazz fans. The earliest he can hit for free agency is 2025 with a player option but when they're showing signs of not being willing to re-sign that's when you can get lots of leverage and force your way out of town if you really want to bad enough so this would give the jazz a two-year window to really prove to mitchell that they will do what it takes to build a championship level team around him because he's definitely a franchise type player he's done it in the playoffs done it in the regular season he is a proven star a team that can do more than that have a good regular season record is something that he'd obviously want as regular season only means so much if you can't win the playoffs as in his young career they haven't made it past the second round yet including this year when they were the number one overall seed in the whole league Lots of fans and others question the Jazz giving Rudy Gobert a five-year, 200-plus million dollar contract, as we don't know if he can be the second best player on the championship team. He's definitely very valuable to the team, great defender, anchors the paint, he's a rim blocker, but especially in this era of basketball, if you don't have five shooters on the court at all time, it could put you at a disadvantage. What should the Jazz do this offseason? Who should they target to help Donovan Mitchell and give some, some help around him? and can a duo of Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert make it past the second round? Now shifting topics to the Golden State Warriors and some of their plans for this offseason. The Warriors, they're coming off a year where Steph Curry lit up the league to the surprise of no one, but they ultimately fell short of the playoffs, lost to the Grizzlies. John Morant had a nice performance in the playoff game. And then this year's upcoming draft, they're one of two teams to have two lottery picks. That's going to be picks number seven from the Timberwolves and then 14, which is their own. And they aren't interested in getting two young guys that can be good in a couple of years. That is not what GM Bob Myers sees their timeline as they want more star power on their team that can help them win right now so they're going to be very active in the trade market this offseason and around draft time Steph is one of the league's best players he proves it every year when he's healthy he's lighting up the league and barring another injury Clay Thompson will be back at least for the end of the season the reports are saying he'll be around Christmas time he'll be ready and then Draymond Green he's around as well as a proven winner he wins every year he's good for the culture there in the locker room so that being said lots of people are saying that the Warriors are looking to package James Wiseman going into his second year and the number seven overall pick for a proven star player there are lots of players this could be they're bringing up a lot of names Ben Simmons could be one maybe Andrew Wiggins could be thrown the possible trade depending on who they're gonna get but the Raptors could be looking for young talent as they're a lottery team for the first time in a while and one of the names that have been most frequently brought up so far is Pascal Siakam. Kyle Lowry is a free agent and the Raptors are looking to build a new core for the future so Siakam could definitely be up for trade this offseason. Wiseman he was inconsistent in his rookie year but we know what he can do. A few years down the line he could be great as he did show lots of flashes this year. He could stretch it. He's very athletic. He can stretch the floor. That's huge for a center nowadays. And the Raptors already have the fourth overall pick due to a little lottery luck and then two picks in the top seven does not sound bad for a team looking to add young talent at all so let me know what you guys think the Warriors they could possibly look at, be looking to make a move for Pascal Siakam let me know how you think that would be Curry Clay Siakam Draymond Green let me know what you guys think Siakam maybe he's not the best number one or two option but if you have guys like Steph with him and let him do his work every once in a while I think this would be a very good fit for Golden State give him some size length and athleticism going down the stretch he could really help in the playoffs let me know your thoughts